Welcome back to Harvest Moon, everybody. Harvest Moon. Good morning. Quit. Sickle, sickle water can. Hello, puppy. So What's sickle. The... That was so sickle, that dude. Was so that sickle, was so bro. sickle. What's um, on the news forecast? What's the news and weather for it's today? Be hot recently. Hot recently. It's summer. Okay. All right. So chickens. That's, that's fair. Chickens. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Take care of the chickies. Chakons. Take care of the chickies. Then you got some Chakons. more. Uh, do you have do you have uh, do you have things to plant? I don't. Remember. I have no. I, I have no idea what we did last week. I completely forgot. The uh, red is shipping. shipping bin. Yeah. No, I don't. And have, then feed. Uh, you want to give one of those to uh, Ellen? Yeah. I'd feed three then, of them. Uh, I planted some corn and some maters. That's right. And then we just got to water them now. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's good. Then you can give the egg to Ellen. You can come back, maybe fish or get something from the. Maybe do some little little spirit quest. Uh, uh, throwing a rock against the wall. That's a power berry. Throwing right? a rock against a wall. And up up north, we still didn't look oh, that up. Oh, I don't. Did we? I don't remember that. No. We'll have to. We'll have to do that for like an actual. Stuff. We'll just take an episode. Maybe we'll just, we'll take an episode, and we'll just uh, do Thank the rest you. of now the I power can make berries. A with it. Roge would bark at wild dogs. Oh, Roge. Dude, I can't wait till we can reunite her with that dog. It's gonna be such a touching moment. If she says yes. If she says yes to the dress, dude. To this dress. To the dress. To this dress. Let's see. That was a good show. I watched- I watched- Oh! Oh, fuck, dude, you can marry her! That's crazy! Oh. I'm gonna confess right. something on the internet. I used to watch a lot of, of TLC. That doesn't surprise me. In college. I don't think that's With really my big. roommate. Um, and so we'd watch a lot of, like... <laughs> 18 kids and counting, which is how many now? How many are they up to? Like 21 or something? That's a crazy family. 21 kids and counting. Oh, the Duggars. The Duggars, dude. That doesn't surprise me that you watch the Duggars. We did. Uh, I watched the entirety, the f the whole first season of the Jersey Shore one day instead of studying for finals. That doesn't They were doing like a marathon and I was like, eh, <laughs> let's see how these guys' lives are. You know, I watched the, <laughs> the first season of it, I think. Yeah, uh, I watched I the first season and it was fine. It was like before... Before like they went crazy, well they were crazy. Yeah, they, but that was the point of the show. Crazy. But before I think they went before, stupid, before fame well, got they were, to their heads, yeah. a little that's what bit. I kind of mean. Yeah. yeah, that's what I mean. Before they, uh, before they knew what being on television meant, because yeah. when they were filming the first season, they hadn't been on television yet. Yeah, they were just filming it, and so. After the first season, they knew what that meant, and they'd gone on all the talk shows, and they had gotten all the interesting kind of the attention and how stuff. they got to be that big. Yeah, that's nuts. Well, from people laughing at their lives too, yeah. you know, like that's well, that's thinking, kind of an interesting well, they thing. they became like uh, it is like a personality. It's thing, like a, you know? it's like it's honestly like a modern day sideshow in a way. You know, you you it is you pay people to do like a specific task that they're good at, but is weird or like interests people. And then you like put it on display, you know. I mean, at least they're getting paid for it. I don't think yeah. sideshow people get they're paid getting, for it. They're getting paid like a couple million. Yeah. So it's like it. it's like and it's like a, a, a sideshow that's good to its sideshows. Yeah. So, <laughs> but that's good to its freaks. You that's mean? That's good to its freaks. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I mean. The uh, feeling like a fickle leash. The uh, yeah. I. It's just interesting, and it was also. I I didn't find any of those women to be attractive in the least bit. No, dude. I mean, me it's neither. So I mean, funny. good, 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 good for them. Yeah. Well, it's for just, for living their life. Oh and yeah, what they do. But well, they and they obviously the would not find me attractive at all. No, either. that's true as well. So. Like the lifestyle <laughs> is just not attractive to me because I don't live that kind of lifestyle. It's and yeah. that's exactly the truth. Like they wouldn't find us attractive. Yeah. You know, because we're not can you know their conventional version of yeah. Or their version I, of the track, I, I'm know? too. I think I'm too translucent in my pigmentation. Yeah, you're a little too pale. I need to get some. Uh, you don't have enough product in your I hair. Need to get some spray <laughs> tan. You need to. You need and to actually like acquire. You need a hair. Mask. What's the hair hair helmet? The what? Make it make a helmet with your hair. Just yeah yeah do it. A gelmet. That's what it a is. Gelmet. Make a gelmet. Ah, oh, that's ridiculous. Is that a thing? I think so. I mean, I think it's a phrase that people use. I, I certainly didn't make how it much, up. How much? I'm not uh, that creative. Second of summer, dude. 1960. So you're gonna so try. I need five thousand. You need five grand. But do you have a cow yet? No. You didn't buy a cow yet? No. Okay, good. Why? Because otherwise we haven't been taking care of it. Yeah. We haven't <laughs> <bought a> car <laughs> yet. I was just making sure because I know we talked about it. 
And I yeah, know we it's five to... G's for a cow. It's either is that a cow... what we're working on right now? I think because we spent on... a couple thousand on corn. No, we spent money on corn and tomatoes so we could get the cow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. well, I thought we did it to get an extension on the house. Well, oh yeah, house first and then the cow. Yeah. House first. Oh, another chicky dude. Oh yeah. There. Do you wanna do you wanna incubate another one? Oh, what do you think? Incubate, sell, and then give to Ellen? What do you think? You think I think that's a good you should idea? I mean, I think so. I'd say get 12, dude. All right. Get 12, and then you can start selling them for a profit, because I think you can sell chickens for 500, I think. Or at least a couple hundred. It's more than you can sell eggs for, but... Because when you get to 12 chickens, it's kind of hard to, like, maneuver. Because when you come into yeah. the barn, you have 12 chickens, and then you have 12 eggs. And trying to get all the eggs into and the bin without them all. without dropping Did I feed them. them? Did I feed the chickens. I don't think so. It's okay. You can do it. You you just do it before you go to bed. Thank you, dude. I can't believe she's at six stops. That's six hearts. that's really rad. That means uh, next the next Sunday that comes around, the peddler's gonna be there. I can marry her. You're gonna have to see if you have enough money. I think it's uh, well. A I want to do the grand. the house first. I would get the house done. The first let's, extension. Let's, let's plan. I think you actually need the first extension done to marry her. Yeah, I honestly sense. do. I think that's a. I think that's an actual game mechanic. You need the first extension done. Good thing I came back. <sighs> Very good thing. Otherwise, my chickens wouldn't lay. Are you gonna go grab something from the forest to ship too? Yeah. One of those summer trying. squashes. Trying. Then we're gonna water some plants. You see what water, happens. Water your seeds. The, uh, what are other reality shows? Like, uh, flavor, the surreal flavor, life. Flavor love, dude. Yeah. Flavor the love. surreal, the surreal life, which was like the real world, only with, with like, celebrities? celebrities. Like, yeah. washed up celebrities. Not washed up, that's not. They were mostly washed up, dude. I think, I don't like the term washed up, though. That's true. They were, they were in a, they were in an ebb. They, they had passed they their were peak in a, of fame. Yeah, they were in a, they were in a, a valley. Yeah. Well. They were in a. Not a valley, even because I mean, because it's, it's just one mountain. Yeah. <laughs> so there's not gonna be another peak. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, <laughs> you know, there's nothing wrong with hanging out of the foothills. I think though. most people, they, most celebrities, they have one thing that they're really known for, and it's hard to get away from that. Yeah. You know. Well, people, I think it's that's because people place, like, you have to box people in when you when there's so many people in the world to remember. You have to like box people into places, you know what I mean? Or that's what people oh, do. Look at these, it's not something you have to do, but then it's maters. like, oh yeah, that character. Oh yeah, that guy who played this character. The uh, yeah, that's how you remember and make that connection. Yeah, but I mean, like Harrison Ford has more than one of those, you know? It's yeah. Like, but he might have one of those for a specific person, is what I mean. You know what I mean? Tom, like Tom Hanks. Yeah, I think that like just on an individual level, there's a lot. Of, I think like, that there are people who supersede them. I, I think that you're right. It's it's you've basically got an identifier. Oh, he was. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The dude Pierce Brosnan. He was James Bond. Yeah. Or I guess you could do Remington Steele, but. The, uh, Thomas Crown Affair. Did, I heard that... Oh, yeah, Pierce Brosnan. He was in uh, Mrs. Doubtfire, yeah? yeah? yeah. He played the uh, the guy who can't eat spicy food. Yeah. Yeah, dude, he's a great actor. <laughs> Robin Williams gives him a Heimlich? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah totally. dude, I remember that. That was good. Yeah, he's a great actor. The, uh... Pierce Brosnan, man. He, he, said that, the, he said that it was, uh, that Spectre was a disappointment to him. He didn't like Spectre. He didn't like Spectre. Interesting. Yeah. Which, I mean, some... I haven't seen Spectre. Some yet. critics are... Uh, he said that it was too, like, slow-paced in parts. Oh, the, interesting. Uh, which is really funny because Pierce Brosnan only really has one good James Bond movie. Well, that's, like, really good. Yeah. Yeah, of course. That's, like, the cl like a classic of it's its It's true. Time. Like, his other ones... Uh, Die Another Day? Mm, it was all right. The... I mean, the, I liked the him world as Bond. Is not enough. I liked him as Bond. The movies yeah, I, themselves. Yeah, I feel like were, he was. Uh, he got to it like at too an, late at a weird point. Yeah. If he was able. Well, to Goldeneye do it. was like great, and then I think that they tried to like do that again, but different, and I don't think it worked out. Well, and I don't. I don't think that uh, he. I think that was like the prime time for him to do it. Yeah. But keep on doing it. I don't know. I still thought he was good. He just doesn't. Daniel Craig is like. A beast. It's such a different Bond. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's just a completely different set of movies now, you know? They're great. I love them. I, I, I really... Spectre, I, I like the Daniel Craig movies. There was some... I mean, I I, have, I guess I have some, some like, Four issues. Four chickies! Nice, dude. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, you know, there's some issues I have with it, like some of the camera work in the, the fast parts are a little dizzying and stuff like that. In, uh... What's that one where they do all the parkour? 
Oh, uh, Quantum and, of Solace. Uh, Casino Royale. Was it Casino? That had they were the, had the parkour scene. Okay, yeah, maybe it was that one. I loved that. that I was so good. I thought that the idea was really awesome, but I think the a execution was just a little dizzying. For oh, me. I loved it. I loved it. It's the same reason I didn't really take to the uh, the Hunger Games movies as much as a lot of other people did. Yeah. A lot of, like, the action stuff wasn't really so much action-y as me just, like, trying to figure out what was happening. Well, that's, like, Transformers to me. Yeah, All the that's, Transformers movies were I, I could that see way. that as well. But yeah. I feel like uh, with this one, it was actually, like, with Casino Royale, it was much better than that. Yeah. I didn't think it was that bad. Yeah, it was just hard because they both were wearing full black bodysuits. And so, like, I could see the action, but for me, it was, like, trying to remember... The parkour, I think we're thinking of a different thing, then. Where they're, like, running through the desert town, and they're, like, yeah, jumping... No. They, they're wearing, yeah. like, the same exact outfit. They're wearing, like, spy gear. Uh, really? I didn't think so. I thought he was wearing just, like, uh, he was trying to fit in. Oh, maybe I'm misremembering it. Yeah. Well, maybe he was trying to fit in, but the other guy looked like he was... The other guy was just in, well. like, normal clothes, and he had, like, scars on his face. All right. Well, regardless, I had... <laughs> I had I'm, I, I'm saying I had trouble yeah. identifying which one was which, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. There are several chase scenes that I think would probably be that way. Why do I have a timer? Apparently I set a timer for 15 minutes. Oh, that's nice. 15 minutes ago. Three minutes before we started recording. That would have been a problem recording. if it was, uh... If I had set it for a different time yeah. and it went, just went yeah, off? Well, oh, you, I you set, set the timer for, for 15 minutes, minutes tw 12 hours ago yeah. and it just went off. I should check the stove. Look at this corn. Dude, this it's corn. all growing. It's Look all growing. Get cabs. Get the cabs. Oh, uh, cup salad, does that have, like, corn in it? <laughs> Dude. I will say Skyfall was probably one of my favorite Bond movies. Skyfall was excellent. The uh, I, Javier Bardem, Javier Bardem is was so awesome, good. Dude. He's such a good Bond villain. It was he was so good. Oh man, just such a good. I rewatched it like just uh, a couple days ago. Once I saw I Spectre, didn't I was like, I didn't rewatch the whole film recently, but I I watched the scene where they take him out. Spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen it. Where they take take Bond out with the girl tied up. Oh yeah, and have him like shoot her. Yeah. And then he like shoots her in the gut or whatever, or the Javier Bardem. Yeah. Just like spoilers. Did you, uh, but I watched that the scene, scene before the scene before where they're inside and then he has Bond tied up. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember it. Oh, I didn't God. watch it. But yeah, that is it's such so a good. good. Scene. Yeah. yeah. And dude. just like the, the tension that's there is so, oh, it's so good. Oh, he plays such a deranged, like you're scared of him just cause you have like no idea what this but guy's But at the same do. time, the best thing about Skyfall is like, man, I can kinda see how he got really pissed off. Yeah. Like, oh, I yeah. can kinda see Well, that's how I feel about Goldeneye. I think that's what I love about Goldeneye is like, there's a very good reason why Alec Trevelyan's mad. Yeah. They just left him to die, you yeah. know? Like, there's a very good reason for it. And I think that's what makes a good Bond movie for me is like, if the person has a good enough reason. What was the one where he was just like changing the headlines to say whatever he wanted? Um, was that uh, Tomorrow Never Dies or whatever? Uh, I the don't guy, know. Uh, I don't remember. They, I don't know. If, if the Bond movie doesn't have like a villain that like you can see why they're like so angry or yeah. upset, that's what makes it good, I think. Yeah, the uh, that is what makes a classic a classic. Yeah. When it's not, when there's depth to the... When there's a reason, when it's not just like chaos. Madness. Although to be fair, there is something to say about that as well. But I don't think for well, that's like it has to be very specific. You know what I mean? Like it well, has, yeah, I mean you like can't the, just do that for every Bond villain. Oh, I'm just evil for the sake of being evil. That's what uh, the Joker was in Batman. Is like he was just right. If it's a very specific, be, but like if yeah. every bad guy in in Batman was yeah, like that, it would be boring. Would ruin yeah. It. yeah, the Joker is a prime example of that. Like if you overdo that too much. Then it becomes tedious. Well, but if it's just like the it's, one character, it's like it's shit. It's the one character, and there's like... It's like Moriarty, dude. It's like uh, Moriarty to Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. I feel like uh, it's... Uh, oh, it's, Can you talk to him? Oh, you can't buy the feather because I don't think your, your house is done yet. church. Um, what were you saying? The Joker is... Uh, just such a good villain just because I feel like he is like he's that evil for the sake of being evil but taken to a completely different level yeah and he's uh I can make a cake with it I hope my dad stays healthy at all times the um 
He just wants chaos. He's not in it for anything else except for just watching everything oh, go he out feeds, of order. Yeah, he feeds off of that off, off of that energy. Yeah, absolutely. Which is an interesting thing because you can't like how society would totally crumble, and then how would he? Well, how would he get his like? Yeah, you can't really combat that. How would you combat the Joker other than to like have everyone in the world just like stay calm during a crisis? Well, but that's not gonna happen. You know, it's never gonna happen that everyone's just gonna be like. Okay. It's kind of... You know, like, take the fun out of Joker's plan by just being okay with it, you know? Well, it's... It's, uh... When it does delve into chaos, like, there's no end game to it, which I think he absolutely knows, and that's what makes him a little more crazy. Oh, yeah. He just wants to throw it into chaos yeah. just so that there will be chaos. Yeah. I have an agent of chaos. Yeah, it's almost like if you give him a motivation, it almost takes away from the character. Yeah. It completely... Because that's what makes him so dangerous. Yeah. Man, I really liked the Christian Bale Batman movie. I did too. I was just thinking that. I was thinking that I really enjoyed the villains that they used. Yeah. You know? Like, even in the first one, uh, Kelly Murphy. Cool. Oh, yeah, and the Scarecrow. As the Scarecrow was, like, such an interesting... For such a... For the gritty reboot, it was such an interesting choice. Yeah. Because it was just so, like... Well, and Ra's al Ghul, too. And I mean, Ra's al Ghul is... That, yeah. wasn't, that wasn't that big of a... But stepped up because Ra's al Ghul I mean compared to the movies that they've had but yeah. Ra's al Ghul is a pretty probably Batman guy you know yeah well and fucking Liam Neeson yeah oh, can't go wrong with that forget about it I think I'm gonna run out of time do you think I can get a metal, metal? I don't think so not when it's already orange on the farm right, so. uh, is your grass cut I don't think I can cut it yet <laughs> yeah it doesn't look like it looks pretty new pretty fresh right. Pretty fresh. Pretty fresh. Fresh cut grass. So you've, uh... You've, you, you fed your chickens, yeah? Yeah, you did. Yeah. Okay, cool. You should start a new... Start a new day. Start a new day. A new day. start. Yeah, comic book villains... Well, villains in general are always uh, kind of an interesting thing, because if you don't have a villain that properly, like, balances against your protagonist, it just becomes not inter uninteresting. It, it really depends on... Dang it, chicken. Whoa, what? Oh, did you forget to feed one? You only did... Th did you only do three foods? I might have... No. Oh, no, it was hiding. It was just sitting on the egg. <laughs> Silly chicken. Oh. What, what were you going to say? But there's another chicky. Oh, shit, dude. Call Empire. It's oh, coming. Wait, is that... Why... One, two, three... Oh, yeah, you have seven now. Holy shit. Yeah. That's rad. I need more grass. Remember to feed your chickens when you get back. Just, to, just letting you know. All right. I would actually, on your way back, I would swing by the forest and Get pick a up a melon and then yeah. feed your chickens. Because you can just feed them. It doesn't matter what time you as feed them. As long as I feed them during yeah, the day. Yeah, you don't have to. Well, you don't even have to feed them like before the night time. Yeah. You just have to feed them before you go to bed. Hello, Alan. Now I can make a cake with it. But I do like when, when people take liberties with their villains too. Like I like when when a villain gets put in the role of a good guy. Or something like that, or not really mean? a good guy, or when they have to like, when the good guy has to like team up with the villain to fight an even bigger villain or whatever. Yeah. I really like that kind of stuff because then it challenges like their relationship and... Are you talking about Sonic Adventure 2 Battle? I was not at all talking about Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, but that's what pretty What were you funny. talking about? Just in general, I just like that idea when like the good guy has to team up with the bad guy. I think probably because, well no, I don't want to spoil it, but there's, there's uh, games that have those elements. Really cool. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Yeah, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle is the one that I was thinking of. Yeah. <laughs> we did play a lot of that when we were when we were in our youth. Yeah. The uh, in our youth. Yeah, I think I think it's cool. I think that um, if the, if you do it too much, though, it kind of like it, it over. Oh, again, it's yeah, it, it has to be like intentional, you know. But I think that's true of any trope. If you yeah. overdo any sort of like. If you overdo any sort of stereotype, I think it becomes problematic. But like, if you use it well once, then I think that you're I, you can you know I think it was like when uh, Spider-Man and, and Venom they were not friends at all, and then uh, Carnage kind of his symbiote came yeah around, and then it's like Venom's like I can't control this shit. Spider-Man, where are you? The uh. Did you didn't like that, or you did like? I did that? like it. You I did mean, like Spider Man. Yeah, that's Matthew like Carnage the, is based off that. Yeah, that's but I like, like the a, a idea of Venom being like 
an anti-hero, which he is now. Well, and it's, I guess what I'm saying is, like, look at Goku and Vegeta. Yeah. You know, how, like, Goku and Vegeta start off as, like, nemeses, and they still have, like, that moments edge. of that yeah. in their in their friendship, but it is like a friendship, you know? Like, they have worked together on stuff, and... Yeah, and they tolerate each other now. Yeah, it's a to it's a, a tolerance. Although, I guess... On Vegeta's Vegeta, part, at yeah. least. <laughs> yeah, dude. The, uh... Because that's de he's definitely an anti-hero. I, I like having a having an enemy. Well, I mean Piccolo too. Yeah, Piccolo you know, as well. Having well, an once enemy he that turns with, in. Fuse with Nail, you know. And when he fused with Kami as well. Man, this Spoilers. got nerdy as fuck. Spoilers. Spoilers for anybody who hasn't seen a show that was out in the '90s in Japan. That's, that's re being redone here. As is it being redone or is it being re well, I guess it re rebooted, did, did relaunched? Do. It. It did, heard, uh, the, the Kai was what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, Dragon Ball Z Kai, yeah. yeah. I heard that the new season completely just, like, retcons all of GT and stuff like that. It, well, what it is is that the movies that came out, it's basically the extent, like, a, a long tail, a long format of those movies. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, so I think I'm done. Totally. Yeah, grass is done. Yeah, and I think this is a good place to wrap up, dude. So. Well, we talked about reality TV and villains. It's pretty decent. No wonder how we got on that Pretty second good. topic. I know, right? From reality TV. Yeah. All right. Untraceable well, paths. I'm picking up my dog and I'm putting down my dog. It was sunny tomorrow, yeah? You can't check the TV. I, I want to. <laughs> no. Oh, it's raining. Okay, cool. So yeah. you won't have to water tomorrow. All right, cool. Well, on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh, can you, before you go out of that, do like a left, right, left, right thing? Right, left, right, left, up, down, up, down. Oh shit, I just did that backwards. Right, left, right, <laughs> left, up, down, up, down. You had the up, down, right? All right. Yeah. Let's, let's do it <laughs> Sorry, up, Jeff. Right?